Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Scorpio, you guys got hummingbird spirit. Be here now. Number 34. There's something going on, Scorpio, in your love life. We have a Queen of Cups here with the Ten of Pentacles. And this talks about some sort of transition that's taking place in your life. Eight, eight is definitely with a soulmate. Let's see what's going on. Some sort of transition is happening though for you and a soulmate. Let's see, Scorpio. So Scorpio, the counselor has been coming up a lot for everyone towards this end of the year and I feel like the counselor really wants to help everybody kind of get their wish fulfillment. Like I feel like there's somebody in your life that's guiding you towards your wish fulfillment, towards what it is that you desire, whether you know it or not. And there's a lot of like self-reflection taking place right now. There's a lot of like going within and figuring out what it is that you want. And if that's not what's taking place, that's what should be taking place right now. You should be looking within and trying to find out what it is that you actually truly desire. Like what is it that you above all else want in this life? You know what I mean? Like deep, deep, deep down inside. And I feel like that's why the book is here with wisdom. Like this is you trying to figure out what it is that you really want. I think it, it's important to figure this out right now because I feel like something is coming. Like there is something coming. It could be a person, a queen of cups here. This could just be you going through this transition. But there is definitely something coming. And that's why they're like trying to prepare you. Like what do you actually want? Because funny enough, Scorpio, sometimes we get exactly what we want and we don't even realize it because we're so like <laughs> busy thinking of other shit or busy with work or, you know, disconnected from ourselves that we're not necessarily noticing that what we what we want is right in front of us or the person that like we want we just met them you know what i'm saying like i get something's coming in and they need you to be very clear about what the fuck you want what the fuck you need because whenever this comes in they want you to be able to recognize it so this is kind of like okay let's just take a look at what you need and what you want in order to i i get it's not in order to manifest it it's in order for you to see it when it comes in like they need you to be a balance that's the biggest thing it's like if you're not balanced then when this shit comes in, you're not gonna see it and that's gonna be a really big blow. So they're like, the big, the worst thing that you could do right now, Scorpio, is get into some sort of ego or some sort of disconnect because once you do that, you're not going to, you're not gonna recognize it and this is gonna be kind of like a waste of time. let's see um what's coming in for you i definitely feel like there this is like a pivotal moment in time because with this transition happening there is something taking place and be here now it's like you have to be present and i definitely feel like something's coming in and if you're not present if you're not balanced if you're like in your feelings but not like in a good way um this is going to go right over your head scorpio Yeah, Scorpio, you see, in your wish fulfillment, the emperor is here. So what you want is like an emperor. And I feel like that's exactly what's coming in. Maybe some of you guys have been feeling that for a while. Maybe somebody here has left a relationship who's in Aries. We have the three of cups in reverse with the emperor. Um, I definitely see somebody being like single and somebody being kind of like moving towards you though. I feel like this is like the right person for you because in this story of King Arthur, King Arthur is the only person that can take the sword out of the stone, right? I think it's King Arthur. Whatever, whoever it is. It's like the, the fable is like only one person can take the sword out of the stone and it's got to be like the right person. It cannot be anybody, but I, I think it's King Arthur. And anyway, in this story, he's like the only one that can do it. And that's what I'm getting for you guys. Like this is the, this is the right person for you, the right person coming in. But again, if you're imbalanced, not good <laughs> not good at all so um this is more of an energy this is more of a reading to tell you scorpio that 
your energy does matter your vibration does matter your what you've learned does matter there's a big transition happening right now in your life and i feel like it's all for the positive it's all for the good and your spirit guys i feel like with the counselor they're trying to really like get you to connect with a certain person that's what i'm getting and again it's kind of like if you're meant to go out with your friends one night but then you you get into your feelings and you're like i don't want to go right then you won't meet this person that's supposed to be on your path you know what i'm saying but when you're if you're like you know what fuck it let's go have fun let's have a good time you're balanced you're like you know what um i'm ready to just have a good time and you go and you meet the right person do you get what i'm saying like i feel like everything is kind of destined here so i feel like they just want to remind you that your feelings your vibe is like very important at this time because it is going to be important in like how this plays out that's what i'm getting <laughs> not to put any pressure on you scorpio <laughs> let's see what the counselor has to say yeah some of you guys are sitting in a five of swords like this is the energy they don't want you to be in because it's going to block it exactly you're going to block yourself from this yeah if anything has taken place like a breakup or something that has taken place like you still like worry about or you still think about or still can't like get over um they're telling you there's a new beginning here at play there's something very new coming in we have again a masculine energy king of swords so like whoever you were dealing with in the past um i don't feel like and this could be reversed right like they could just be telling you like whether masculine or feminine, wherever you've been in the past, I feel like you were very much unhappy and you're unhappy the way things played out and you're unhappy the way maybe a relationship ended. And I feel like that kind of scarred you a little bit, Scorpio, but I definitely feel like new energy coming in for you with the Ace of Wands and the King of Swords. And I feel like they want you to see, again, your eyes have to be open. That's what I keep getting. Like your eyes have to be able to see what's coming in for you. Like it's important that you're, Oh, like in a good energy because again then you're this is just gonna pass you right by so just work on stabilizing yourself Scorpio work on thinking of everything that you've been through as helping you reach where you have gotten to now noticing how much you've learned from the journey noticing that you're like not a kid anymore you've learned a lot of shit um, you're not naive like you you've gained so much from the journey you've learned so much and it's all been for your betterment because now what's coming in you're gonna truly enjoy that's what I'm getting Scorpio it's like a short read but I really just feel like that's what they want you to know like they want you to know that what's coming in is so good like but only if you can see it and yeah look what fell out the star the star is coming in for you what your your hopes and dreams are coming in do you know what I'm saying um, balance is coming in healing is coming in like a lot of things are coming in don't reflect on the past too long don't stay in the past too long because what's coming in in the present is so beautiful okay stay in balance scorpio look like literally this is exactly what i was saying like romance and connection that's literally what you guys got with on the bottom harmony and resolution so exactly look at your past as something that i know it's hard to get to this point in life when you look at your past and you're like accepting of what happened and what took place and you're okay with it but i feel like and and maybe that only comes from when like you meet somebody new or when you're able to move on or you know like you're thinking maybe that's going to happen for you in the future but i'm getting like it's actually coming in the present like in the present someone important is coming in a connection that's very important is coming in a new beginning is coming in for you um this is what you've been wishing for and again if you're not in this good energy you're not going to see it you're not going to be able to like grab onto it um and if you are in the right energy you will see this person this person and you will connect and you will have this beautiful new beginning that you're counseling your counselor is trying to kind of set up for you guys okay with harmony and resolution this is going to bring a lot of resolution to the past events and help you like heal and move forward so i'm definitely getting again exactly like it's a short and simple read but it's the same shit like be careful where your vibe is going scorpio because i see a lot of beautiful things coming in for you i see a soulmate coming in for you and again these are all the things that you wanted so keep your eyes open okay <laughs> i love you scorpio i hope this helps and i'll see you next time bye